All right, what's up everyone? Sam from 64 Wheels back with another 2021 Hot Wheels unboxing. <laughs> you can see the top of the card. Oh well, this is a um, the Target exclusive Decades cars. These are the flying custom ones. Let me make sure my video, there it is. Um, I just picked these up at Target the other day. Oh, look at the sunburst off that. Oh, it's glorious. Um, I just picked these up the other day. These are the newest flying customs, 2021. Some of these are really awesome. Like this, you'll notice I'll do a little throwback with this too. Um, really nice eight car set. Here is the back of the card if you want to see. And then there's one of the SKUs if you want to pause it and check it out. Um, really nice set. Oh, my bad. Um, the flying customs and all the like, it, the, I can't remember, the hot ones. And really the, these Target exclusive sets are awesome. I've liked them all. I've bought most of them. I've done lamely posts on them. Um, I just really like them. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig into it. I'll try to adjust the brightness. The sun is coming, kind of coming through a little bit. So, first one I want to open is this beautiful 73 Pontiac Firebird. Hey, my bad, my battery ran out. Been having trouble with my batteries reading full and empty. So, um, the weird thing about this set is about the two purple Firebirds. I'm not complaining because I love purple and I love Firebirds. It's just odd seeing two. Uh, well, I guess I don't know. They're purple in real life. That I guess that looks blue when you put the sun on it, but that's definitely purple. So the car is actually blue, but the card is definitely purple. To me, they both look purple, like right there, they look purple. So I don't know, I guess in the sunlight it's blue, but they both kind of look purple. Either way, it's interesting to see two Firebirds. Um, so I'm gonna unbox this one first, cause I like this one, so we'll do it. The other one's probably the best one in the set, but amazing can we appreciate the card art the card art is so cool that's one good thing about these these are like these aren't fully premium pr plus prices but i think these are like a dollar 20 or a dollar 30 or something like that um man look at that that looks killer those stripes i really like this casting i think it's molded very well like it's cast very well the details in it are nice and the retro orange and yellow stripes they just look very 70s like early 80s so i really like this casting um again once we go through these let me know your thoughts on them all and let me know which one is the f your favorite and your least favorite in the comments below once we're all done so there's the first one i'm gonna save this one because this is one of my favorites so i'm gonna save that one to last so the next one a 1971 dodge demon this um this casting has been in a lot of the um like store exclusive sets it was in the uh, the 4th of July set, it was in the Zamac Flame set, it was in a lot of stuff, but I will say it looks excellent in the, um, with black walls, the gold black walls, and me and the sun coming off of it, oh, it is, it makes it look extra cool. Um, this is my least favorite paint job, I'm not a big flame person, and I don't like that the flames are, like, coming off of basically, like, the RT stripe, um, it's kind of odd, I like the casting, I really like the wheels on it. How it looks i'm gonna try to block the sun there um real like it's a good overall casting but this release of it is not like i don't like the flame so it's a cool car Ooh, i don't know what that noise was when i rolled it cool car but it's it's not my favorite so i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it the 68 el camino um black gold and white really cool i like like i like the card art on these the card art is probably one of the like why the extra cost um, and it's a store exclusive, so I, I assume they just like bump it up anyways. Um, oh, I don't like this. They've made it. I feel like they made it cheaper. Have they made this cheaper? The, this this used to have a bed. I swear. And this plastic bottom feels really cheap. I don't know. Okay, this one gives me a bad vibe right off the hand, like right out of the package. I don't know what i'm probably missing something like what are these i've opened this casting before but i don't remember what that is on the bottom it's kind of odd um and i mean i would have sworn this had an open bed at some point i'm gonna have to google it and put a picture over it if it is because i swear this casting is different now and for some reason it feels lighter it doesn't feel as heavy um so i don't know if they've made some changes to it or not but it looks good in this release it almost looks like hearst colors like her shifter colors um, which I don't think the El Camino was ever, they had a Hearst version of it, but it looks good. I'm going to have to do some investigating because I don't remember that. And it's not too bad. I like the Goodyear. I like that it has a licensed brand on it. That's pretty rad too. It looks good though. I don't, I don't hate that. So um, the next one is the 86 Monte Carlo SS in red. Um, I feel like we've gotten this Monte Carlo in a similar paint scheme like 10 times. Like 
haven't we seen that before? I swear we have. It also looks like the ZZ Top 32 Ford a little bit um, with the kind of zigzag lighting stripe, but it says Monte Carlo SS on it. Um, this is a nice casting. This was one that I wouldn't mind seeing like re like remolded a little bit to fit a little bit smaller tire in the back to make it more realistic because this is amazing casting like i love this car in real life it'd be cool to get a t-top version too but not too bad it definitely looks retro if they would have put these wheels on this car i think that would have been a, a home run but since they put the the newer five spokes on it it does look a little newer but the paint job's retro i like it overall not bad um, the 71 Mustang Mach 1 is the next one. They, this has also been one of those cars that has been in this line before. Um, it's been in the hot ones. It's been in what else has it had? Because I know I have a red version of it. But again, I don't know what about this line. I don't know, but it just feels cheap. Like it feels lighter. And I don't know if it's because I have another version of this car with a metal chassis. And I'm just used to it. But the, they feel really light. Like they feel cheaper for some reason. Um, I, I don't say that to like discount the quality. It just feels lighter. Um, again, this is a black wall. This one, um, oh no, it rolls pretty well. It looked like the tire was sticking a little bit. Um, not a bad paint job. It's not my favorite. It doesn't, it's got those nice Mach 1 lettering on it. Um, I don't know. The hood, the hood is a miss for me. I'm, I'm not a particular fan of like the Mach 1 hood and the where it's like missing the graphics i know they're like little indentions but it just kind of looks like the graphics are missing um when you look at it uh not too bad this one isn't a home run for me it's okay it's not terrible the gold um black walls i wish they would have put that on like this would look so great in that but i can't complain it's not too bad still cool i bought it so Next one, the 67 Custom Mustang. I really like this paint scheme. Like, look at that old school, like, motocraft Ford style. I really like this car. Um, I'm not a huge Ford fan in real life. Like, I'm a Camaro Firebird guy over Mustangs, but I will say a lot of um, Mustang castings do look pretty nice. Okay, so there must be something about these chassis because this feels extremely light as well like i don't know if it's a combination of a chassis and the wheels but they feel really light um for some reason and i don't know if they're getting cheaper but this the chassis on this one does appear to like it has a cheaper feel to it um and then it even has like a cast line right there in it so um quality wise i'm not super impressed with the set paint and deco and wheels impressed especially on the card um but i like this one this is a this is a home run for me i really like it i think the wheels look good in it i love the paint job the casting is awesome um it rolls really well it looks good it just it just feels really light like they're getting lighter and lighter every time i open them um again but this is one i would buy again like if i saw another one i would buy one of these so this is the one i wanted to say or no i don't i'm saving the firebird for last but this is the one i wanted to save for a little later because this is actually a different like a version of this paint job oh you know, let me see if i can bump it up so you can see it um i think believe this was late 80s early 90s i had this growing up um this is not the version i had the particular one i had growing up because mine got all scratched but this is one i bought later on but it's cool to see that they're bringing back that same kind of paint job and even the teal like it looks very good so these will be cool to display side by side because it's like you know 20 or 30 years later difference so let's give this one this is the custom volkswagen beetle um again you just saw it's a throwback to a paint scheme of the late 80s early 90s really cool this is a nice casting um i like it it has that same kind of light plastic bottom um i like this this casting this like the beetle looks so good in so many different paint jobs like it can have a shark nose it can have this retro deco it could have a herbie like i mean it could have a lot of stuff they all just look good um let's see let's them side by side like that's pretty cool a little throwback it's got the same wheels on it i mean that's that's awesome to see that kind of stuff coming back so oh look it's a split window the other one isn't so very cool i'm a fan of that i like seeing the retro liveries on newer cars so awesome i like that okay and then my favorite one of the bunch the custom 67 pontiac firebird number 67 this is i'm probably going to say his name wrong brendan Vit vitusky um he's the designer this is his personal car he made his car into a hot wheels it is one of the most 
killer Hot Wheels of the past few years. So there you can see it's kind of like a blue purple. The uh, This is my favorite livery of the bunch. The checkered flag, the numbers, the stripes. It just looks amazing. You have that huge chrome LS engine. Just You have the lower lip. This thing just looks like it's ready to tear up like an LS Fest donut contest or something. Just really, really killer. I love this casting. I love this color. Everything about it. So you can see, like when I put in the shadow, to me it looks hardcore deep purple and then as you bring it into the light you can see that it's almost like a blue purple so the the color on this like to me that looks blue that looks a little blue or mixed with purple so i don't know let me know in the comments if you think this is blue or purple i'm leaning towards blue in the light um, because you can definitely tell it has a shade of it might be i would love to see what the official color is on this because it's awesome man i love that so we'll look at both of them they both kind of have, like you can tell the purple color there. They both kind of have similar um, orange and yellow graphics, but ooh, that one's a winner for me. So let me know in the comments, that was all of them, that was all 10 of them. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, which one you like the best, uh, which one was your least favorite. My two favorites of the bunch uh, are, are these two. I do like both Firebirds, I love purple, so these two are my favorite. If I had to go with a third, I would definitely do the Mustang just because I think the livery is they nailed the retro look on it. So my least favorite one would probably be the Demon Duster. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe the Mustang. I don't know. Um, they're, they're really all there. It's hard to pick a least favorite because they all are cool. So I like them. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, which one is your least favorite. Um, thanks for watching. This is Sam, 64 Wheels. Follow me on Instagram at 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok at Samtastic. Um, and what I'm trying to think what else Facebook at 64 wheels um, be looking out for more videos and more, and more posts soon. Thanks guys